What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on That Boy Super Slow. Remember guys to subscribe to the channel. On today's video, remember I had mentioned that I was going to go ahead and fix the gap of the trailblazer. Well guys, we're six days away from Torcando in the Bay and I do want to clean that gap up. So let's go ahead and get to it. Alright guys, so we went ahead and let the sun set a little bit because it was pretty hot today. So on today's video, let's just wait for this hard to pass. I'm gonna go ahead and yep, almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front bumper and we're gonna go ahead and clean this lip up. Why? That way it gets a more solid seal. So inside of the hair I have a washer and if you pay attention, the washer is making contact with this lip and we don't like that so we're gonna go ahead and remove it. ahead and try to take drop again this is attempt number three you guys just ain't giving up today we're just gonna focus on taking off the front bumper like I mentioned Take these screws off, guys. Number 10. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually go to make a Home Depot run and buy some shorter bolts. All right, guys, it's a tight squeeze, so you're gonna make sure you want to turn your tires more, a little bit more. Turn them all the way in. More. But yeah, guys, make sure you want to turn your tires all the way in. That way, you have a lot of play. Because this bull right here. Yeah. A little bit more, maybe. A little bit more. It is enough. Tight place to reach so a little bit more okay. well that's how much it goes in so let's work with what we got but yeah guys it's in a tight area now go ahead and i uh, get the pliers in there and make sure i get a good grip and i do half not even half probably like a third of a twist It's kind of hard to do, you guys, just because I do have the phone right in front of me. So, but you guys get the idea. I grab on and I turn. So I'll be here for a minute. This side, I'll, I luckily only put one. The other side, I have two of them installed. <laughs> went ahead and removed the front bumper i actually went ahead and did it off video but i sent it down the lip so it should give us a smoother uh fitment now just a little bit of elbow grease and some sandpaper guys and it's all you need so this is what i was referring to as the lip a better angle for you guys yeah, this is the lip that I was referring to. You see how it ends here? I ended up giving it a quick little rinse. I'm going to go ahead and dry it. And um, I'm going to head out to Home Depot and buy the shorter screws. Just because this is what I'm referring to when I mean that 
it curves. So when the, the screw is like around, say like, I think it was like a good inch. So I'm about to get half an inch. But um, this bumper curves, right? It curves, you see? So when the screw's coming in, it, it begins to rub basically on this end from the inside, making it really hard to tighten. So we're gonna get short ones the way uh, it goes in smoothly. Just gonna go ahead and dry it before we head out. But yeah guys, we're about three days away from Trocando in the Bay, so the truck has to look on point. I want the best version of the trailblazer that it could possibly show. Go ahead and dry the whole bumper up and then we'll head up to Home Depot. All right guys, so we're here at Home Depot. This is the original screw that I had on. So the goal is to find one that's shorter than this and to actually have a different head that I could screw it in way quicker. I found these right here. This is the head that I'm looking for, but these are obviously too long to do the job. So we're going to find some short ones. We'll use those to get rid of the gap. So guys, these are the screws that we went with. It's going to make it so much easier to screw it in now and they're shorter. So let's go ahead and install the front bumper. All right, guys. So we installed the bumper back already. And that gap is looking on point. Well, what gap? Let's check out this side. I should probably add a third one here just to give it that fully close. But uh, other than that, here's an update version of the gap. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and install the grill and that should wrap it up for today. Let me go ahead and use both hands guys for this.